Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. So on the review bench today we have the Isotech IDM 99iii digital multimeter. This is a new product in the range from RS Components. So you can see what's in the box. You've got the multimeter itself. You've got a rubberized plastic case that protects it um, for robust handling. You've got positive and negative probes with detachable alligator clips which are very well insulated and they're quite long probes. You've got a temperature probe which is a little thermocouple. If you can see that, yep. You've got a user manual a little disc with some software on it. There's a hanging strap which connects to the back of the rubberized case and that's what comes in the box. Let's have a closer look at the meter itself. So on the main dial you've got the you've got two sets of uh, markings, white ones and blue ones. The blue ones are the alternative functions and to access the alternative functions you press the blue button here. The yellow button here is a backlight. I'll demonstrate that in a minute though I haven't got the meter switched on yet. So you've got uh, AC volts, DC volts, millivolts, both ohm meter and the alternative function is capacitance. Here you've got a continuity meter and the alternative function is uh, diodes, milliamps with the alternative function of hertz and amps with the alternative function of hertz and here you've got the temperature dial where you would plug in the temperature probe one of the things that I absolutely love about this meter is that if you happen to have the red probe connected to the wrong hole because you've got three different options you've got amps, milliamps and volts volts are used for nearly everything but obviously the way that it's connected measuring current is different so you've got two different sensitivity scales for measuring current and if you try to measure amps or milliamps when the red probe is in the volt position it beeps at you and it won't let you mess up your circuit or your meter which is really great I think that's a really wonderful protective feature it's already saved me making a mistake a couple of times I've only had this a couple of weeks let's show, show you what I mean if I wanted to for example if I wanted to measure a current and I had the red probe in that hole going to beep at me. You can't do that and it says probe on the warning screen. Same for amps. But for the others where it doesn't matter, it doesn't beep. It's kind of handy that. So I've just measured the probes, the length of the wires for the probes. From tip to tip they're about 130 centimeters, which is quite a decent size. So now I've got uh, an old PC power supply which I'm just about to hook up. And that's reading 13.2 volts. But there's no load. Okay, now let's just switch off the lights. And I want to demo the backlight. You see, you can still see it because the video camera is quite intelligent but if I press that it should suddenly get a lot brighter it would be really useful if you're working in dim lighting conditions obviously it chews through the battery though so I'm not going to leave it on longer than I have to I'm going to have a go with the temperature probe now it's got one side marked positive the other common and that goes in that slot there and then we put it on temperature mode and very quickly let's just move that out of the way so you can see very quickly it shows you that it's not all that warm in here which is why I'm wearing a coat 16.3 but if I touch the probe it should go up really quickly
you've also got this magnetic hanging strap which slots in the back here or you could also mount that on a screw if you wanted to hang it up somewhere also if you really wanted to and that hangs quite nicely like that not sure if I'll use that but some people might want to could be a useful way of stopping it from uh, rolling about if you kept one in the back of a car or something or a van like this I have to zoom out a bit to show you that properly put the backlight on so you can see I've got no probes connected but just to show you what it looks like so you've also got these four buttons at the top the uh, range one lets you specify the range generally it will be auto ranging but that lets you have more manual control over that Volt sense uh, enables the meter to sense when there's a high voltage nearby and that can be useful. Min max is a button you can use to press and it will record the maximum and minimum values during a particular measurement period. And here you've got a hold, a smart hold button that enables you to hold uh, the current reading. So that was the Isotech IDM 99iii and as far as I'm concerned it's a really nice multimeter and for me it's definitely a keeper you can get one of these from RS components and the stock number is 7575116 and I believe they go for about 125 pounds good tools not only do their job properly but they give you pleasure and ownership and use as well and this is a real pleasure to own and use. It feels just right in the hand. It's, it's robust and I like it very much. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.